What is going on, everyone? Hope you guys are having a good one, even though 9, 7 to 10. Hey, I know it's not the case, but hey, you gotta keep on striving, you gotta keep on thriving, you gotta keep on living. I know I just banged on that, so it probably made some noise, but oh well. Anyway, it is a great Saturday morning. It is beautiful, actually, outside. I was like, oh my god, the UK is actually doing me right. Oh man, I can't wait till November, though, when I'm back over in Tampa. And I see that on a daily because then I'm also be like, oh, when's there going to be clouds or oh, when it's going to be colder? Um, just because it's, it's crazy. It's human nature. It's human nature. We always want after a certain amount of time, you get tired of something. And that's like, but anyway, oh, I had a hard time right there. Authenticity, authenticity, authenticity in regards to content creation, in regards to, you know, sales as well as real life. Oh, man, this is uh, this is. A rough one you know I wrote up these specific topics last week and then this entire week I felt like I was completely off on all aspects and um, it really came down to my attitude my attitude my attitude and the rest of the things I was not taking care of myself um, in regards to major parts right uh, Matthew McConaughey brought it up before and I'm probably gonna botch it but he said um, friends family mental career and spiritual or something like that he brought up different categories he was like you need to get all those in check in order to have a perfectly well balanced system and he understood that sometimes that's not going to be the case but you can't derail one of them because if you derail one of them the rest of them are going to follow and that's exactly what happened for this week i basically did not take care of my sleep and it was that was every day and i was having some crappy sleep hours and i was trying to make up for it and it just, it really did not play out the way it could have. Um, and as a result, I ended up, you know, just having some rough calls. I had some rough sales calls that just naturally my attitude was not there. I wasn't really looking out for the client. Um, I was looking out for myself and I understood that. And, you know, trying to shape that up throughout the times. Not to mention, I realized one thing that I have to work on when it comes to sales. The times that you have before the call or during, you know, like between the call or something like that, that there's nothing going on. Um, those are so important. They're so, so, so important because if you're waiting for another call to come up and you're sitting on your phone and stuff like that, you're not really doing anything productive. It's not going to set you up well, especially if you're trying to consistently work. So you have to figure out what is work, right? So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to figure out a system to make it very consistent. I'm at least watching call reviews. I'm interacting with someone. I'm, you know, going over objections. I'm going over framework and I'm becoming obsessed, right? I'm watching Arnold, the documentary, because I feel like he is a great example. I love the documentary so far, uh, just because of his obsession with bodybuilding, his obsession with being great, his obsession with consistently finding the next big thing to do. Now, what was it? That was one of the bigger things that I realized and I was about to bring it up on here. Anyway, it, it stems, it stems, it stems. If we were to start first, content creation, right? So content creation, a lot of us feel like, you know, we're like, oh, we're posting just to post and we're not really getting anything out of it. We're not being, you know, very direct, right? So one thing I realized when it came to that, these last few videos that I posted actually did pretty well and I wanted to sort of dissect maybe one of them just to give you uh, a sense of reasoning on why they could have probably potentially went well. Now, I had a content strategist that I was working with and incredible guy, incredible guy. If you guys are looking for a content strategist, this is the guy for you. He's a solid creator. He's honest. He's, you know, everything about himself. He will show you everything. He doesn't, you know, hide stuff. He, he's a great guy and he taught me a lot. So. You're obviously gonna see it probably pop up right here if not, but say the most recent ones and I'm kind of screen recording them right now. So let's let's dive into it real quick. Um, loading up OBS. Anyway, in the content creation side, what you, first you have to understand what are your main few pillars that you're representing, right? Because a lot of us, we dance around the subject. We know what we wanna talk about, but then a million other things come up and then you're just talking about a completely different situation. Right, so we got a screen recorded. We're looking at our section right here. Now, these are some of the most recent ones. So, if we were to dive into this one, this somebody actually hit me up on the side and he said, I know you're probably talking to an empty conference room. Let me look at you real quick. 
The whole reason why I'm doing this is the fact that you need to truly believe that you have a million people watching you every single day. If you only have 500 followers, you need to believe you have 500,000 followers. The only reason why I say that is because a lot of us give up a month in because we don't see, you know, the following or the status that we have. But you have to remember this. People are going to binge watch your content years down the line. And if they have nothing to binge watch because you basically gave up your first month, there's no point of doing this. Like, I know it's only you and you here, but that's the thing. You have to truly believe that you are going to be that person. And if not, there's no, why are we here? All right. Why did I show you that? I showed you that because that was one of the videos that I truly was trying to think so hard of, you know, what is something that they're going to call me out as safe fate for? What is something that maybe someone in the future is going to be like, oh, um, did you really live that lifestyle? Did you really do that? Do this. And so that was one of the bigger things. Now, I make my content either here in my house or I make it over at the office and we have a conference room. And so in order to show some sort of credibility as who I am, what I'm talking about, we decided we're like, why not, you know, make it look like we're in a conference room and make it look like we're talking to a bunch of people just to build that credibility up. And then also I realized a part of it is I'm making those, you know, videos of like how to do this, how to do that. But then I'm not also taking accountability for the ones that are probably seeing it that are like, yeah, dude, all right, man, you're, you're probably talking in an empty room, which I am by all means, but calling it out saying, look, I get it. I get the fact that you probably think this is, you know, just another one of those, but you have to remember, this is the reason why we're trying to make binge watch binge worthy content. We're trying to make content that we know at the end of the day, it's not going to be popular now, but it's going to be popular later on. And so that was part of the reason. And that's why I think it did so well, you know, it did around 1400 views. Um, the most recent one that we have is where I talk about sort of my uh, family situation in regards to you know, how I want to free them, how I want to help them. And that was another one that did pretty well because it was honesty. It was being honest. It was being genuine. And some of the ones that I realized that did incredible all stem from me, you know, actually just being transparent, being open. Now, in your situation, say if you're talking about, um, say if you're talking about what, e-commerce or something like that. And you're talking about how to actually teach or how to set up your own e-commerce store, how to do all that stuff. If you can tie some sort of personal sense into it, it makes things so much easier because you can explain why you can gravitate the audience to yourself and you can be transparent with them and you need emotion. You need energy. You can't just say, yeah, no. So to give you an idea back when my parents were, you know, X, Y, Z or back when I was with a bad environment. It really just shot. No, you have to be, you know, and something like this. I got tired. I got tired of just having my family not do anything that they can do. And at the end of the day, I'm here, I'm overseas and I'm absolutely trying to thrive to be the best person I can be. But then they're over there and they're, you know, I want to see them grow too. So there should be, you know what I'm saying? So that's, it's that energy. You have to bring that energy. You have to bring that honesty. And if you have energy and honesty, it makes policy. It makes it work rather than you know being robotic and having a script. I've had a lot of people that talk to me about like, how do you set up your own account? How do you, you know, make it look legit? How do you make it look authentic? And I always tell them, I'm like, first, you know, you can dump the script. If you need a script, by all means to say, organize it the right way, but dump the script, make key points to talk about and talk about it through that, right? And be open in each key point. If say like, if I were to give you an example, for the the recent video that I just posted for uh, it was another long YouTube short uh, for mindset therapy, right? Uh, your emotions have no power in your actions and mindset shift in the morning and evening time. So if we were to bring up your emotions, right? Um, to give you a perfect example, I absolutely fucked up this week. I did terrible. I did terrible with a lot of things that I was supposed to do good at with the sales call, with the working out, with everything else, with getting up at the right time. And that honestly, that shot me. So, right, we use that as an example, say PR, hitting a PR with uh, calisthenics. You know, if I were to act it out, um, one of the big things that I realize a lot of people just naturally don't get is the fact that you have to keep on failing every single time. And that's exactly what happened with me. Last week, we had a terrible week. It was honestly atrocious and I was trying. So I tried literally 10 to 20 times to hit my PR that I hit just a week ago. 
And the fact that I wasn't able to hit it, there's a lot of things you can think about in your head. You feel like, you know, the world's closing in on you. Everyone's, you know, against you. And you can either feel like that or you can genuinely get up, get after what you need to get after. Won't, don't worry about that because you know the more fails you get, the better. The more fails you get, the better because you're going to grow after. That. You see what I mean? So you're adding that energy. And all you need is a paragraph, a little tiny sentence of what you're going to talk about. And then just dive into it. Be energetic. Be open. That's what people want, not just something when someone's going to be like. So, yeah, I ended up messing up and it really threw me off. There was a lot of things that went bad with the calisthenics and I just kept on failing again and again. And it just didn't work out. And you see what I'm saying? It's just boring. It's boring. You're trying to be someone that you're not. You're trying to be fake, basically. So how did that tie into sales and authenticity? Sales really kicked my ass this week. And I'm being transparent on that because I was thinking too much about myself. I was thinking since I didn't have a close in about a week, I was like, I need to get a close. I need to get a close. And when you start thinking like that, you're going to think so fake. Everything's going to be fake. Your mindset's going to be fake. The way you talk to people is going to be fake. The way you talk to people around you is going to be fake because you're, you're stressed. You're not worried about that right that is that is a no-go that is a no-go we can't do that we can't do that and that's what i keep on harping with myself i'm like look talk to the person but at the end of the day keep your frame keep your keep yourself in check don't let them just say oh we're gonna think about it and then not give you a good reason why you need to think about it you know actually talk to them and be like okay you know so building the authenticity in sales a lot of people are just like you have to actually care and that is true I realized the days that I cared, the days that I genuinely was on the phone and having a great conversation, we had a much better conversation and everything was more transparent and I could be more honest with them and I can challenge them a little bit more. That's what you need, you know? And then that ties into real life. And that was this last section, real life. Oh, man, you really start to see the, the difference. Everything ties in. It's sort of a yin and yang process. If you're fake in this area, you're going to be fake in that area sooner or later. And so if you're fake in that area, you're going to be fake in the other area. And then it's going to slowly chip away. So take care of yourself. Take care of your foundations. Take care of everything that you need to take care of. Take care of your health, your family, your fitness, your finances, your spirituality, your friends. Take care of all those. And I know it's hard, but we have to keep on going. The one big thing is like, you know, you could say it's hard. And that that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like you could say oh man it's just you know i don't i don't know about this and i don't know about like my family and stuff like it's slowly fallen and you're like okay are we gonna keep on talking about it or are we gonna do something about it you know what i'm saying so that's exactly what i had i needed i needed a moment of a little bitch little bitch out mendoza and then i woke up the next day i was like all right dude let's get the fuck after it let's get the fuck it's another day in the office you know so aside from that we're gonna close it off i hope you guys have a good rest of your week or day, whatever time frame it is, whatever time zone it is, because I got people from the UK and from the States. Oh man, it's a beautiful life that we live. It really is. And I'm internally grateful for all the people that have supported me along the way and are going to keep on supporting me. But yeah, from top of world boundaries still don't exist at the bottom of the depths where life still lives. Do you dare to dream? As a matter of fact, do you dare to take the next step? I'll see y'all later.